Hello guys! So in this video, I'm going to teach you about this topic on the analytic geometry subject. So the topic is distance between two points. So for example guys, now we want to know the distance, the direct distance between two points P1 and P2. So let's say for example, this is the point 1. So it has coordinate of X1 and Y1. And we have another point, let's say that is point 2 and that has a coordinate uh, x2 and y2. So if we want to know the distance between these two points, so ang, ang gagawin natin guys dito, no, what we are going to do is first we have to know the vertical distance and then the horizontal distance of these two points. No? Uh, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem for this, um, uh, for computing the distance. So, uh, yun nga guys, no? so for the vertical distance, we are going to compute the vertical distance that is y2 minus y1 and the horizontal distance that is x2 minus x1. So, okay lang guys, actually kahit maging negative itong distance na to kasi pag ginamit natin, yung uh, Pythagorean theorem no magiging positive pa rin naman yon kasi nga i-square natin guys yung vertical at horizontal distance na yan okay so okay lang din guys kahit magkapalit yung inyong points point 1 or i mean if your point 1 becomes the point 2 and your point 2 becomes the point 1 so okay lang yan guys no kahit uh, walang walang specific rule for this okay so we are going to use this triangle guys so by using the pythagorean theorem no of course the distance will be equals to square root of the horizontal distance nila square plus the vertical distance square so madali lang naman guys no because the d here is the hypotenuse and the y2 minus y1 is the uh the the uh, one side of the right triangle and x2 minus x1 is the another side of the right triangle. So, of course, this is now the formula uh, for the distance between two points in the Cartesian plane. Okay? So, let's solve this problem, guys. Let's solve a problem. No? So, this problem uh, came out in the Electrical Engineering Board exam uh, during the April 1994 board exam. Okay? So, find the distance between A which is neg 4, negative 3, and B, negative 2, 5. So, let's solve this problem, guys. So, ayun, so all we need to do first, actually, you know, hindi naman siya required, but I suggest na you, ha you plot it para ma-imagine you guys yung uh, distance between these two points. So, if you can plot these two points, then it's better. So, ayun, so th this is the point A that is 4, negative 3. It's located at the fourth uh, quadrant. Kasi nga, positive yung ating abscissa and negative yung ating ordinate. And then, of course, our point B is located at second quadrant, negative 2, positive 5. So, ayun. So, what we are going to compute here is the distance D between these two points. Okay? So, of course, we have to set uh, one of the point to be point 1. So, it's in this case, point A will be point 1 and point B will be point 2. So, yung x1 natin is 4, y2, y1 natin is negative 3, and then x2 is negative 2, and then y2 is positive 5. So, actually guys, no, again, I let me just repeat, no, it doesn't matter if you assign point B as point 1, and then you assign point A as point 2. No, it doesn't matter guys, no, kahit mag-negative yung ating vertical or horizontal distance, no, magiging positive pa din siya, kasi nga, i-square naman natin yun individually. Okay, so our formula again is, D is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1. So, what will happen here is, of course, our x2 will be uh, negative 2 and our x1 will be uh, 4 and y2 is 5 and then x uh, y1 is negative 3. So, ayun, so, of course, when you calculate or when you input this to your calculator, the distance will be equals to 10 units. So, the answer is obviously that is 10 units. 10, letter D. Okay? So that's it guys. No, I hope you have learned something. No, this is very basic analytic geometry. So let us now uh, solve some problems that I think might help you no in in mastering this uh, topic no. Although alam ko naman na very basic talaga to kasi nga uh, during elementary pa yata tinuro itong formula na to. Okay. So yun so all you have to do is when the problem shows up, pause the video and then solve. And then after solving, play the video for the answer reveal. Okay, guys, so are you ready? 
So I'm going to just uh, I'm just going to give you a heads up if I'm going to reveal that answer. Okay. So here's the first problem. If the distance between points 8, 7, and 3y is 13, what is the value of y? Okay. So if you want to solve this, uh, please pause the video and then after solving, then play again. Okay. So I will now reveal the answer and the answer is letter C. That is 19 or negative 5. Okay, so next problem na tayo guys. So the, pro the next problem is the distance between the points sine x cosine x and cosine x negative sine x is Okay, so if you want to solve just pause the video and I will now reveal the answer. The answer is letter B that is square root of 2. Okay, so that's it guys no so please like this video if you have learned something and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any problem related to mathematics engineering ayun, up, you can email me at marcelojuniorabrera at gmail.com or message me on facebook at marcelo abrera so ayun so i'll uh, see you in the next videos guys that's it bye bye